we can see memory and CPU usage in total. Have you ever felt like you're flying blind with your Docker containers? Ever wished you could see exactly what's happening in real time? Well, we're going to turn your Docker containers into a real-time control center that tells you everything you need to know. Let's dive in. Before we jump into the setup, let's talk briefly about why monitoring is essential. Docker containers can be unpredictable. One moment your app is running smoothly, the next CPU spikes and memory issues causes your application to slow down. By the end of this video, you will have a powerful monitoring setup to identify issues before they become problems. To get started, let's introduce the tools that we'll be using. First is Prometheus. Prometheus will handle data collection, scraping metrics from each container and storing them. Next is C Advisor from Google. C Advisor will pull metrics directly from Docker and provide essential stats on container performance, and it will expose these metrics to Prometheus. Finally, we have Grafana for data visualization. Grafana makes metrics look amazing with customizable dashboards and powerful graphing tools. The first step is to deploy C Advisor. I've prepared the Docker Compose file for you, link in the description. I've already created an automated workflow to deploy anything on my Docker LXC on Proxmox, link to the video up there. The only thing that I needed to do is add this YAML file in my repository and then add just this line here in my deployment file. So let's deploy it and see the results. Okay, our deployment is done. Let's see the results. And this is C Advisor. We can see lots of information right from this panel. For example, if I go to Docker containers, I can see the name of different containers that are running. I can go to, I don't know, Portainer and see a bunch of results here. But we're not going to use this panel for monitoring our systems. We're going to instruct Prometheus to scrape these metrics from C Advisor. In this step, we need to deploy Grafana and Prometheus together onto our Docker host. So I've decided to use the same Docker host that I had for my previous Docker deployments. I'm going to deploy it on the same Docker host. So far, we have three files. One is the Docker Compose file. It has two services, Grafana and Prometheus, with two volumes for each. Grafana configurations are pretty straightforward. We're going to run it on port 3000, and we're going to use Grafana data volume to persist the data for Grafana. We're going to do the same for Prometheus. We're going to use uh, Prometheus data volume to persist the data of Prometheus. It's going to act as its storage. Make sure to do this to do right here. So we need to clone this repository in this directory. So if you watch the video that we worked with Terrific, you can probably remember what's going on. This is going to be the Docker host that I'm going to run my Grafana. In order to clone the repository, we need to introduce the public key of this LXC to our repository. Let's do it. SSH keygen. Just do enter all the way. Copy the contents. Then go to your repository. Scroll down. Deploy keys. Add a new deploy key. And now we can clone our repository. Head over to code. Grab this. We are inside the slash data, it clone. And that's it. Okay, so this to do is done. The next file is under monitoring Prometheus and then Prometheus.yaml. So these are the Prometheus configuration. The only thing that I did was adding this few lines right here. I've introduced a new job that will scrape from this target. And you remember this target was the exact address of my C advisor that we looked at it earlier. 
And lastly, this is our deployment workflow. The only thing that you need to do here, you need to add these two secrets to your GitHub repository. So let's do that. Again, head over to your repository, setting, secrets and variables, actions, new repository secret. I've added these two secrets into our GitHub repository. Now everything else should be fine. Let's deploy and see the results. Okay, deployment is done. Now we should be able to see the Prometheus and Grafana. So this is our new Prometheus. I can check the status of different targets that I specified. I can go to status, targets, and this is C advisor. You can see the job name and the endpoint and, and it's up and running. Now let's see the Grafana. Welcome to your new Grafana panel. First time you open Grafana, the credentials would, will be admin, admin. First, we need to add a new data source. Head over to your data source, add a data source, choose Prometheus, give it a name, Prometheus is fine, HTTP, Prometheus port 9090. Everything else is default save and test and it works now if i go to explore and under prometheus i can find different metrics so let's try container last scene and if i run the query you can see different results and last step is to create a dashboard we can be creative and create a dashboard ourselves or we can just import one of the existing dashboards. So I prefer this one. It's very simple. It's very straightforward. So I'm going to copy the dashboard ID. From here, choose import and paste that ID. Click on load. Everything else is just default. Choose the data source here and click on import. Welcome to your monitoring panel for your Docker containers. As you can see, I'm running 10 Docker containers with 600 megabytes of usage with one and a half percent of CPU usage. You can filter by different container. For example, if I say Walt Warden, it's, it's using this amount. So, same for here, it's using 35 megabytes of RAM. And also you can see the network usage. Imagine you want to deploy C Advisor on a new Docker host. In my case, I have a Docker host for Terrific and it's running on 122. So the only thing that I need to do is one, add this line here so that my GitHub action actually runs and deploys this C advisor container on this host. The next thing that I need to do is I need to introduce this as a new job and I need to instruct Prometheus to scrape from this new C advisor instance. So I'm going to add this few lines right here. So let's deploy and see the results. C advisor was successfully deployed on my terrific host. If I go to the other job to update the Grafana and Prometheus configs, it's, it's also successful. And if I go to targets of my Prometheus, you can see that I have this new job. And if I go to my Grafana dashboard, I should see Terrific now. So if I refresh, I can see Terrific showing up in here. Coming back to our configs, you can probably question what is this? So I've added this right here to later specify different containers running on different hosts. So if I go to my browser, you can see that I 
have two seed visors. I don't know what's the host for this. So what I can do is I can go to edit and here in the legend, I can also say host. And now you can see that the host is also specified right here. So I can understand that this C advisor is running on Docker host and this C advisor is running on terrific host. And I need to do the same for other visualizations as well. And there you have it. A complete monitoring setup for your Docker containers using Grafana, Prometheus, and C advisor. With this setup, you will never be left in the dark when things go wrong. You will have the tool set and the data you need to keep your systems running smoothly. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this one, you're gonna love this video as well. This video, I'm gonna show you how you can connect to your home lab with your own domain privately with SSL. Thanks for watching. Until next video.